We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. Provo Beast do another install today. Today we're doing a backup camera on this Kia Rio. Um, today with this install, we're going to show you how to install a backup camera to an aftermarket radio, how to run all the cabling, and how to uh, really get everything hooked up cleanly. Now go ahead and check out my first video. I'll throw that down in the description, a link for you, of how to replace the radio, how to take the dash apart, and really how to uh, get to this point of the install. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and remove our aftermarket radio and dash. Um, so we have access to run our video wire from there down to the kick area, along the back to the trunk area. The video wire, the purpose behind it is to uh, show or display what the camera sees, run that video all the way up to this aftermarket Pioneer radio. All right, so at this point, um, we're gonna go ahead and run our backup camera wire We've gotten the dash all pulled apart here, and uh, you can actually check out in the description, we have a video on how we replaced this and got the dash all removed. Uh, it'll be a super helpful video for you in the event you're looking to do a backup camera on this car with an aftermarket radio. So with this all pulled apart, I used a hanger, and I can see it come out by the pedals there. We're gonna fish our wire through. Now this is our video wire. This wire will bring the signal from the camera in the rear all the way up to the radio. All right, so we went ahead and fed this through. Now, the reason why it has a little wire off of it is this wire is gonna connect to the reverse gear purple wire. Let's get right here. That's gonna connect in, and then this is gonna go into the, on Pioneers, is the brown RCA input, or the reverse camera input. And that's about it for connections up front here inside the car. like so, and that'll plug into our camera input. Okay, so we went ahead and ran that cable down, and see here, we just tuck the cable back up underneath the carpet, so it goes straight down up underneath, then it comes out here. We're gonna continue tucking all the way back along. Now this is the video cable for the backup camera. All right, so as you can see here, we've just been tucking the wire, and we'll continue to tuck here in the back, and we need to find access up underneath into the trunk area, because our license plate is actually down in the bumper area, and we're gonna tap into the reverse light for positive and negative power for the camera, and to trigger the radio to switch over to the reverse mode. Okay, so we went ahead and worked the cable into the trunk area. We're gonna follow the trunk line here, and make it to about the bumper area. All right, so we pulled the license plate off, so we can have access to run the backup camera wire. Now we've dropped down the license plate line. We're gonna use that hole to run the wire up through. And we pop this back portion off. It's just all held on with clips. It'll come right off. And there's the grommet that we ran through. We just cut a little hole so we can pull these wires through the rubber. So we're gonna get our backup camera all mounted and our license plate back on. All right, for power for the camera, what we did is we popped out the back light. We can pull this down after releasing these clips and uh, they're little 10 millimeter nuts. But we know here on the back light, this is the reverse bulb on the hatch. And this green one is positive and this black one is negative. So what I've done is I run a power in the ground up to this area. We're gonna tap into those. And I ran this power down and then I just tucked it inside this tubing, as you can see there. He's just done release all these little clips. And you can tuck that tubing, you can tuck that wire into the split loom tubing. And then it came out here, I'm gonna run this down, and it's gonna connect into our harness, our power and ground, for our backup camera. All right, time for that red wire off our video wire. Now this is gonna trigger the radio up front to go into reverse, so we need to tap this into the power and ground. And what I did is I just cut the line strip both ends and then this little extra red wire is going to connect into this red wire so it's just the positive 
So when the reverse light is on, it's all powering the camera with power and ground, and it's also putting power to that red wire. All right, so I piggybacked on that green wire, and then piggybacked on the black wire as well. Put those nice butt connectors there. This will fit right back up inside. I put this cover back on. Spooms all back together. Now here, we got our um, video wire plugged into the camera now. This red wire connects into really the power of the backup light and the ground. Remember we ran that all the way up here and uh, plugged in the power wire as well to the camera. So we're going to clean that all up. We're going to put this panel back on. We're going to put this all back together and do a final. This is all, all put back together here. Just need to tighten these nuts up here. It's got the radio booted up. Let's put it in reverse. There you are. Perfect. If you have any questions about this install, just go and post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching the channel. Uh, we appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video.